it's the right place and it's beautiful and that's what theater is all about. It's about being thought provoking and um, and it's just unfortunate that you know someone that's going to be our president um, doesn't embrace that as uh, freedom of speech and the arts and um, sort of celebrate that moment. So that would have been the much more mature way if you ask, if you're asking me. I mean, I think Mike Pence even said it today. He was like, that's what freedom sounds like. He's, you know, people can say whatever they want. I think that uh, that's what's great about yeah. America. You know, you have that, that platform. That's awesome. Those guys took that, that second to speak. And they made a story out of it, which is even better for everybody. So, Listen, this is America. And, you know, I thought it was more appropriate than many ways that other people have been speaking out. Um, and it I thought they were riot. respectful. I thought they were very respectful. And, um, you know, maybe something like that's never happened before. But um, I think the proper response was the one that Mike Pence gave, which is, we hear you. That's the atmosphere you create. You know, I think in terms of the you know, presidential election with Donald Trump, you know, you, you, you could be right. People should have a certain amount of respect for the government and the president and the vice president. But the president, the vice president, all those people should have a certain amount of respect for the people that they are catering to. So in having said that, you can't create an atmosphere, a disrespectful atmosphere, and then not expect for people to disrespect you back. But anyway, I'm really proud of my friends over there in Hamilton, and, and I thought it took a lot of courage, and it was eloquent, and it wasn't antagonistic. It just, uh, you're in the theater, and that's what the theater's about. It mirrors life and where we are in the world. It's, that's the meaning.